Hello bitches and meat beaters, Georgia64, aka the Hypocritical Gamer, bringing you the next episode of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance HD. And we are Riku, and we are going to Prankster's Paradise. Could I roll my R's anymore? I suppose I could have rolled the R when I said R. <laughs> um, anyway, enough showing off. I've got to go to the world, but before I go to the world, I wanted to tell you something. I just realized that this overworld music is in fact the field music of Deep Space from Birth by Sleep. Isn't that interesting? I'm sure you already know, but let's go to a carnival. Enough of this. We've got to go. I want to ride on all the rides, but before we ride on all the rides, let us uh, enjoy a, a ride down our memory lane. I don't remember equipping this keyblade. Oh well. Whoa! Oh man. Oh, whew, I got it. Nice. Ah, shit. All right, I need to get some prizes. Careful. Yeah. Okay, not getting that one. What? There's nothing there. Just, 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 shit. Damn it. Which one is the? Uh... Okay, get you. Get you. No. Get fucking how? I didn't want to hit that one. Okay. And ah, there we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Whew. All right. Ooh, I see that. All right, what's next? Mega Flare. Don't mind if I do. Give me all of that junk. Who's next? Who's next, asshole? Nobody. Aha! Oh, did you see that? That was magic. Damn it! That wasn't magic, though. All right, who's next? I'm gonna guess the bottom one. Shit! Both of them. Oh, I got it. How'd I do that? All right, I'll take those. Uh Oh my god, holy shit, holy shit. How did I do that? How did I do that? <laughs> Alright, get out of here, you assholes. I got some more Mega Flare for ya. I already got all the prizes, so why am I... Why am I... I just waste Mega Flare. That's not good. Alright, let's go, come on. Come on, we got places to be. We got places to be. Unfortunately, I hit too many of those things for me to get a good rank. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not the best either. Trampoline show? Woohoo! I can't wait! I already ha had the trampoline show with Sora. Take me to the ends of the- Oh, is there a fucking Dream Eater on that? Oh, I see how it is. You want to give me all the I was like, oh, you thought you were going to a carnival? Like you did with so- Nope. Son, where have you run off to? Isn't that Geppetto? Yeah. Last when time you saw that guy, you were kind be. of a dick. Just, you know, not going to say that you kidnapped Pinocchio and tried to steal his heart and uh, ignored the pleas of a helpless old man who wanted to save his son. But uh, that's exactly what you did. So, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I just gotta... Man, this was a lot harder in Kingdom Hearts 1, I gotta say. Excuse me. Okay, I'm just gonna go whoop! Just like that. Alright, cool. Here we are. Treasure chests galore! Awesome! Alright, there's one more treasure chest that I see up top. There we go. Is there anybody else here? Wait, where's... Je oh, hey, Geppetto. What's up? What's the matter? Yeah, what is the matter? Huh? Goodness, who are you? Riku. Oh, Riku. You poor lad. Seems you were swallowed up by Monstro just like the rest of us. My name is Geppetto, and I'm looking for my son Pinocchio. Pinocchio's gone missing? I'm afraid so. After all my searching, I found him here in the whale. But then he ran off again to who knows where. That sounds kind of familiar. Mr. Geppetto, let me go look for your son. You would do that? Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah, leave it to me. Did you say you were really going to help us find Pinocchio? Of course. He's here too. Germany? Huh? That's right. Name's Gemini. So Gemini is this one still like a different Jux, world from Sora's? Because no. you know, never mind. Hmm. Because it, it seems so. like uh, it's anyway, a, it's Pinocchio kind of sequentially first. makes sense. Right. Any idea where he went? 
Well, I'm almost certain he wandered off with a stranger. Can you describe him? Hmm. I remember he was dressed in a black coat. Huh? A black coat? He's back again. Thanks. Huh? Well, I'm going with you. Pinocchio's gonna need his conscience, and that's where I come in. So I want to like, no, you're fucking not, and just brush him off his shoulder. All right, off we go. Well, not quite. Let's uh, kill these fellows first. Hello, fellows. How does it feel to be killed? Spark dive, maybe? Aha! Yes, just like that. Oh, and there are some fish mongrels here. Get out of here, you bastards. Right, who's next? Who's next? Ooh, look at that laser. I'm scared. Okay, careful there. Right, I got a drain dive here. I can just take the rescue out like this. Nice. I got it before you could bat. Why are you still in my party? Is there still another enemy here? Okay, no, there's not. Get out of my party, you stupid bat. Uh, let's, uh... First of all, let's go to ability links and make sure we have all the abilities we can at the moment. All right. Magic boost. Hmm. Um, what's this? Zero Gravira. Ooh, that could be useful. What's this? Confusing strike. I see. One more time. To link with the bat, I could get confusing strike. Or more importantly, Zero Gravira. I might as well get this confusion block, though. I mean, it's... Might as well. This, uh, what's the, what's the 50 right here? Zero gravity. Okay. And I'll, uh, get this as well. Hooray. And this one is also one, please. Oh, it's two. All right, I'll have to link twice. I also don't have enough anymore, so. Go back to ability link because I wasn't done. All right, now we got this guy. How many do we need for this guy? Two more. Got it. And then this guy is a mini block. And this guy is a poison dive. Don't really care about those, but treasure magnet could be useful. But again, it's not too important. Combo plus, don't want it. Uh, nothing else, so I can definitely change out Hodor. So yeah, let's do that. Let's create some spirits. Rank up? Ooh. Who can we create though, is the real question. What can we make? Da -da 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 -da, da -da -da -da, none of these guys. Nope, none of them. All right, how about these guys? Still nothing. That's a damn shame. But I will run into one eventually. Eventually, I will have enough. How about this? Nope. How about this? Whoa, okay, hold on. Can't make that guy, unfortunately. I could go with a fish dude. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, okay, yeah, that's it. Da -da 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 -da. No pandas, no uh, cats or anything. Can't make that thing, unfortunately. How many do I need? I need uh, one of the ram rampant fancies and three of the vibrant fantasy. Okay. Anyway. Anything else? No. Damn it. I'm so worried right now. Will I not be able to make anything new? And just work on what I already have? That's no fun. How am I gonna make all my friends? How am I gonna catch them? Ooh, I could make a... A cab cannon. Who wouldn't want a KO Kabuto with a fiercer horn, adaptive ammo switching, and rock hard defense? It's enemies, that's who. Ah, oh, good point. Good, very good point. And I have just the right amount, so I can't make its rank go up any higher than C not a huge fan of what else I can make uh, that that goat thing and I can make a frog a sir Kairu or Kiru cyber yog hmm. I can uh... wait, wait hold on hold on I can what can I do with this make its level go up one but I care more about the rank quite honestly than the level Yeah, not a fan. Not gonna lie. Ooh, here's an, a Yagi Ram. Wait, a Cyber Yog and a Yagi Ram are different things. Didn't know that. Rank E? Well, that's just sad. All right, hold on. What if I do this and then... Okay, nope. 
I was hoping the rank would go up, but no. Nothing else. Nothing else. I don't want that. I already have a snail. Okay. Let's just keep on looking. Nothing. Keep on keeping on. What's this thing? That's the KO Kabuto. And, uh... Whoa! Holy shit, I have a ton of those. Just levels, though. So, no thank you, sir. Okay, I can... Again, with this dude. But, again, the Noble Fancy, I don't have a ton of Noble Fancies, so... It's, it almost doesn't matter, quite honestly. Rank F? Wow, I didn't even know it could go that low. That's, uh... That's a big old nope, if I ever saw one. Ooh, but I can make one of these. Alright. What can I do? Level 20 up, but still rank D. I don't want any rank Ds. In fact, I'm kind of saying no to the rank Cs as well. I don't want those things. Uh-huh. I already have those things. What's this? Okay. Uh-huh. Alright, well that's it. Not really into it, unfortunately. So, let's, uh... Let's just change the party and work with what I have. Alright. So I have this, uh, King Curry. My, uh... Uh, what, what was he called again? Like a meow Justy, I think? Yeah. I also have the Stardew, which would be useful. Yeah, let's do that. Let me uh, switch out uh, this guy and then uh, my snail dude right here has a star rank, which is awesome. I'm gonna keep you because you have something I want. Can't remember what it is for the life of me though, so let's uh, <laughs> let's quickly remind yourself that, myself that. Zero Gravira, that's right. I want zero Gravira, don't care about magic boost, don't care about confusing strike, so zero Gravira. There we go. I'm glad you all stuck around to watch that. I'm, whoa, this guy is huge. I mean, not as big as my panda, I know, but still. I mean, I didn't expect him to be that big. Whatever. Ooh. Memories are coming back. I mean, this is clearly a level designed for uh, Dream Drop Distance and not Kingdom Hearts 1. But that's fine still. The memories are nice. Whoa, that guy just died. I mean, he just died. Open that treasure chest right there. What was was that a was that a mimic or something? It didn't tell me what it was. What I got in that treasure chest. Also, the treasure chest is gone, so I'm pretty sure it was a mimic. Good to know. Whoa! Hey there. Oh, okay. I was about to say I don't know. I don't know what this one is, but oh my god, oh my god, guys! I'm a trapeze artist. Damn it! Shit, man. That was no good. All right, let's get out of here. Back up to the top, then, shall we? Oh, the pandas are always about, aren't they? You're like the most popular enemy. That and the bats, I believe. Where'd he go? Where are, where are all the treasure chests, too? I don't know where those are. Get out of here. I think this is the first Kingdom Hearts game that makes that when enemies reappear and then appear, disappear and then reappear. Oh, fucking goddamn it. When they disappear and then reappear, they still have the health they had when they disappear. Which is nice. Not gonna hear any complaints from me. Hello, treasure chest. How are you? Yeah. I will open you. I will claim your bounty. The Sir Kiru recipe. I already know how to make a Sir Kiru. I just don't want to make one with such a low rank. So, we'll have to uh, live with that unfortunate. Fortunateness, I guess. I don't know. Hello there! Ooh, penguins! These guys are assholes. Get out of here, you bastards! Ooh, I can do that. I can do this! Ah, yes! I'll just kill you all. Get out of here. So, uh, what do you guys think of, uh, what do you guys think of the, like, Dream Drop Distance, uh, level designs compared to other Kingdom Hearts game level designs? I think that, uh, um, it's possibly better, uh, definitely uh, on par with, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 level designs. 
uh, just because, you know, Kingdom Hearts 1, you didn't know where to go, um, and, you, you know, you didn't even have a map to uh, show you where to go, and that was, you know, that was interesting, and I, re I enjoyed it. Um, I think that I especially enjoy the level designs of Hollow Bastion, uh, Wonderland, and, uh, oh god, uh, what's another good level design? Olympus Coliseum, no, I'm just joking. Uh, I guess Traverse Town. I think I also remember liking Deep Jungle. Uh, so anyway, I, I really like those level designs. Ooh, ooh, Acrobats. They're all pretty good, guys. They're all pretty good. But, uh, yeah, there's just, um, a sense of, I don't know where to go, exploration going on, and you just had to figure it out. But, uh, you know, I kind of missed that with pretty much every other game, uh, where they kind of held your hand about where to go. Even, especially in Kingdom Hearts 2 and, uh, Dream, uh, Birth by Sleep, because they literally wouldn't you go, wouldn't let you go where you're not supposed to go, which I do consider a flaw, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not a huge flaw, it's just, you know, something unfortunate that I don't prefer in a video game. Other people might prefer it just because they may not want to do exploring. What the fuck, dude? Get me out of here. Anyway, so, um, compared to Chain of Memories, however, Chain of Memories was, you know, you had that map with all the, all the different rooms, and yeah, you could go to every room sequentially. It wasn't really exploration-based, um, and, but it, it did provide a nice strategy. What the fuck, man? Holy crap. That was, uh, you were really going at it there, weren't you? Anyway, uh... Uh, it did uh, apply a lot of uh, cool strategy because you could choose what kind of room you wanted. And I did really enjoy that aspect of the game. Even if the actual world exploration was non-existent because it didn't really matter. Um, trying to think. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, I, you know, Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, slightly more detailed than Birth by Sleep, which is understandable. Birth by Sleep was originally a PSP game. I mean, technically, Kingdom Hearts 1's worlds were more detailed than uh, Dream Drop Distance worlds. They're, they were The rooms weren't as big, but uh, they kind of had more stuff in them. Be just because they're handheld titles, they're just... They can be kind of emptier. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not complaining about that. That's It's just a thing, you know. Is there really... Is that really the only door in this area? Hello? Yeah. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Well, first of all, let's see what this does. Hello, Link Portal. Defeat all the spirits. Take damage no more than two times. Very well. Uh, take damage no more than two times? That might be difficult. I'ma take you penguins out. Alright. Watch me not get hurt. Shit, I took damage once. I don't do it more than... One other time. One other time is good. Hey, what are you doing down there? Oh, God, shit, man. Where are you? Okay, there you are. Aha! Who's next? You, eh? Now, come here. And we're done. I did it, ladies and gentlemen. I got hit a second time. I didn't notice that. I did not notice that. Anyway, so those are my opinions. Why don't you state your opinions down below? And then we can talk about it more. Alright, I should have read what my prize was. Damn it. Alright, so that was that. That was fun. Now let's go through that door. Hello, door. How are you doing? I've got places to be. People to find. Anything cool? Like a cutscene, maybe. Hooray. <gasps> Pinocchio! You bastard! You're doing what I did in Kingdom Hearts 1. Let him go now! Just playing hide and seek. Oh, okay, well, that was easy. Thank goodness! Are you alright? Riku and I look for you everywhere! Uh-huh, I'm just fine. Sorry, Jiminy. I messed up real bad. You and Father must have been so worried about me. Why, Pinocchio? I think you just might be finally starting to learn. 
to have a conscience, Who not learning you? how to act, though. You still need a bit more help, a uh, practice with that one. What? Me? No, wait a second. No, 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 no. No, you can't just. As I live and breathe. That is not. That was my. No, it wasn't. Hold on a second. Side. What? I gave in to the darkness once. And ever since, it's chased me around in one form or another. The seeker of darkness who stole my body. A puppet replica of the oh my god! Of my heart. And now, I'm facing. Everyone's just back! Why are they back? Don't you have a Jiminy like I do? He's my conscience. He's taught me all kinds of important stuff. Maybe I mean, you just need somebody. Shut to up, Pinocchio. I don't care what sort of sure. like th Riku yeah, needs to relearn. I don't care about that. Won't Hold you. on a second. You must uh, have somebody. <laughs> uh, a friend you can talk to? Because yeah. Ansem and Zemnus were both killed. And that brought back Xehanort, uh, uh, right? The best teacher I, could ever I guess have. it. They didn't really make it clear if it brought back, you will, like, uh, Terra Xehanort or if it brought back Master Xehanort. I think Terra Xehanort would obviously be the one that makes makes sense. But there's, like, a young Xehanort walking around, and there's a Xemnas and Ansem, and now Riku Replica is here? I mean, what the actual fuck is going on right now? This isn't a chain of memories. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, view now. Um, this isn't like the whole, uh, oh, it's a dream, whatever the fuck is going on. I know that there's actually something going on right now. So, why are all these dark people coming back? There is obviously definitely a reason. Why is there a young Xehanort and... Back in that cutscene, uh, at the end of Recoded, it, uh, the one that people said, oh yeah, I shouldn't have watched that or whatever. They were talking about inheriting the Keyblade or something. Young Xehanort and Bragg were talking about that. Or was it Zigbar? I think it was Bragg. I can't remember for sure. So I have a feeling that, uh, you know, back in that cutscene where Axel, or I guess he's human, so Lee, that's his name, right? It has to be. What else could his name be? Uh, anyway, when he came, he and the others came back, he said that Bragg and Isa were missing. So they're going to come back. I betcha they're probably working with all these incarnations of... Uh, Xehanort, along with Riku Replica, uh, Riku Repliku, there we go, yeah, Riku Replica, I don't like the name Repliku, by the way, um, but what's going on? All right, Sora, Donald, and Goofy had been searching for Riku and King Mickey for some time before Sora came face to face with a man in a black coat who guided them to a place called Castle Oblivion. There, the man gave a card, which he said was constructed from Sora's memories. Along the road ahead lies something you need. Uh, Sora and friends began exploring the worlds within the- Hi, Namine and Marluxia! Within this and other cards like it- <gasps> Do you think Marluxia and Larxene came back? Oh, that would be interesting. Ah, oh, I want to see the apathetic guy and the- Bitch, come back. Oh, do you think there were? No, they... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know! Anyway, <laughs> um, Marluxia, the man in the black coat, and a member of the organization, was using the powers of a girl named Namine to manipulate Sora's memory and take control of Sora's keyblade. Whoa, you're just telling us outright, huh? Anyway, serving the organization were nobodies. A special type of being created when a person's heart was stolen and only their body and spirit remained. As Sora made his way through the castle, his memories of Kairi were replaced with those of Namine. He had to fight Riku, who appeared in his dark form and claimed Namine was his to protect. Sora went out and Riku vanished. One by one, Sora defeated the organization members who stood in his path. 
uh, well, really, it was only two of them, or I guess Axel, too. One of them, Axel, proved more slippery than the others and seemed to be neither friend no, nor foe. Uh, yeah, he was fucking awesome in that game. In fact, I'd probably hazard to say that while he wasn't our friend, he, he was most awesome in Chain of Memories. He was awesome in Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, but he wasn't like, and, you know, he was... He he was humanized in uh, in days, and he was partly awesome and partly uh, humanized in Kingdom Hearts Two. But I'd say that Chain of Memories is when he was fucking badass. <laughs> anyway, one by one, I bet a bit of a I read that already. Brood more slippery than the others, and seemed to be neither friend nor foe. So I also learned that the Riku he had fought was just a replica. Yup, manufactured by the organization with this Riku replica's help. With this Riku replica's help, Sora was able to strike Marluxia down. Marluxia. Nomine confessed to Sora that she had what she had done, but he did not hold it against her because he's a nice guy. She offered him a choice. He could either put his scattered memories back the way they were and lose all memory of this castle or keep his memories though of the way they were now. Sora chose to get his old memories back by going into a deep sleep until they could be repaired. But first, he promised Namine she would not be forgotten, and that they would meet again. Meanwhile, Riku had fought, found his way out of the realm between light and darkness. Led by a mysterious voice, he made his way to Castle Oblivion. But the voice turned out to be Ansem's. Riku made his way through the castle, battling Ansem and the darkness within him at every step. The organization had also noticed the darkness in Riku's heart, and sought to use it for their own ends. While facing Lexius, one of the organization's members, Riku was forced to summon the darkness within him the succ and succumb to it. But somewhere far away, he heard King Mickey call out to him. Knowing King Mickey was watching over him gave Riku the strength to press on through the castle. With the power of darkness proving too great a temptation, Riku again seemed ready to be overtaken by Ansem. But this time, King Mickey came to his rescue in person. The king gave him a special card. Inside the card world, he discovered that the Ansem he had been fighting was actually a man named Diz. The man told Riku to find Namine and disappeared. But Riku could... Before Riku could reach Namine, he was confronted by the Riku replica. The real Riku won out, and the replica seemingly... Seemingly vanished. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say that him coming... If, if he survived that, I don't want to say that that... Uh, sort of downplays the original scene that was my favorite scene in Chain of Memories. But I'm hoping... I don't know what I'm hoping. I just have to see, because I don't want to say that if they do this, I'm gonna... That's gonna make me mad, because quite honestly, anything can be cool if it's done right. No matter how stupid it seems, no matter, no matter how it may seem like it ruins something else, if it's done right... It can be great. Nomine offered to lock away Riku's memory of Ansem, but Riku knew he had to face the darkness in his heart himself. He prevailed over Ansem and departed Castle Oblivion with Mickey by his side. From then on, he resolved to shoulder both light and darkness and walk the road to dawn. Indeed. Check out that picture. That's a picture of a guy who knows what's up. Uh, if you saw my face, that would be a picture of a guy who... Definitely doesn't know what's up. So, uh, hopefully we get some answers in this game. Uh, and I don't have to wait for, uh, fucking, uh, 0 0.2 or, uh, Keyback Cover or fucking Kingdom Hearts 3, which probably won't come out until December of 2018. What the fuck is this gross dick? Uh-oh. Really? That's awesome and unfortunate at the same time. This is where I came from, right? Yeah, okay, there's a- there was- Ah, oh, fuck! Dude, come on! I was exploring! You can't just do that! Right, excuse me, I just gotta... Destroy you! Real- Oh, shit, man! That's just- Dick move! Let me kill- Why am I doing it this way? Strained eye! Fucking blizzard edge, motherfuckers, balloons, have some. Die. I don't wanna I don't wanna grace you with the uh, reality shit. Where's that door that closed? There was a door that closed somewhere around here. Maybe it wasn't in the, over there, maybe it was over here. Oh gross! 
Uh, okay, don't touch that stuff. I know better than that. Oh, God. Okay, so that'll, that's gonna flip this room. And, oh, there's a treasure chest. So, ow! Shit, man. You don't gotta be such a dick all the time. Take out this bat. Stupid ice penguin. I didn't mean to hit that thing. God damn it. Well, at least I get this treasure chest. All right, hold on. Sorry. Really? Huh. Is this guy invisible? He sure was. All right, cool. All right, then. There's a treasure chest. Huh. God, stop it. Please. Please stop it. Open this treasure chest up. Huh. Yeah. Let's go back over this way. And, uh... I didn't get that treasure chest. Whoops. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, shit, man. Stop it. I'm just trying to figure things out. Whoa, this is a different place. I thought I, I thought I went the right way, but I went the wrong way. This is where I go. Shit, man. Oop. Careful there. Right, I already got... I already went up there, but... Where's the door? There was a door here. Oh, there it is. I knew it. Okay. So this is where I originally was. There's that door. All right, hold on. I got, I still got more stuff to do, so I'll flip that over. And um, what was that door that closed? God, I am so curious about what that door was that closed. Oh, I don't know. All I know is that I am out of time. So we'll figure out this puzzle in the next episode. So until next time, this has been George 64, the Hippopotamus Tamer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.